there's two different options here, right? I think one is is social awareness and one is self awareness. So I'll give you you know two examples. Yeah, one example was we interviewed a great like ad tech exec. Like she was fired. She was so good at her job, and she like doesn't love tech. She just doesn't like. She doesn't enjoy it. And she likes selling. She loves people. She loves companies, relationships. She's just not a tech person. Like it doesn't give her energy. So every time she has to talk about tech, she's acting like she's excited about it, but she's not. So like she chose a long time ago to like decide that if she if she was going to show up as like the best most authentic version of herself, she was going to say I don't know a lot. And so she started saying I don't know, and she started realizing that. Every time she said, I don't know, it would, fo- it would be followed up with like, but I will go and find it for you. Right? She was like getting this credit for being resourceful when before she had the answer, she was being discredited for like having the answer and, and not you know, being able to, to, to add on any value, right? Like, so she decided to like say, I don't know. She would either bring people on and say, let me go find someone smarter than me. And as soon as she brings someone to the table, she's on the same team as the customer. And like, she loves it. She knew it. She was like, look, when I bring my sales engineer, I go, hey, me and the customer want to know if you can tell us about the API configuration, like immediately by just not being the smartest person in the room. But we also, you know, that's, that's socially aware. We've met people that are intentionally ignorant to data. Like in the book, right? There's this number one salesperson. They say he sells the unsellable. And we're like, how do you do it? What's your prep look like? He goes, well, I don't look at the firmographic information from the lead. I have no idea where they're from. We're like, why would you do that? There's an advantage to that. He's like, yeah, there's also a disadvantage. I know the propensity of someone who's going to buy in the Northwest versus the Northeast. And guess what happens if I talk to someone from the Northeast? Like, I'm going to show up differently. And it's like, it's not a coincidence that they say he sells the unsellable. So intentional ignorance to Garrett's point, like it's just, it's, it's creating infrastructure so that you don't have to show up like acting like you're excited about something that you're authentically not. And Johnny, you're talking about entrepreneurs and, and ha- the passion that they have for everything and where do they step back and, and create the space for intentional ignorance. And one thing that we found, and, and we know this to be true, is founders, CEOs, they're always the best salesperson in the room for exactly the reason that you just said. It's because they're the ones that put everything on the line and believed in this idea so much that they had to go out there and bring it to life. And so for those people, because of their passion about the product and the thing that they've built, we wouldn't recommend that they stay ignorant on that. They wouldn't want to. There's no reason for them to because they're excited, because they know every detail. But as a business scales, there are going to be other pieces of the business that they may not like as much. Sales might be one of them or marketing or operations or whatever it might be. And in those cases, there are definitely opportunities for them to do what Colin's talking about and bring smarter people in and people who who have that passion to fill in those gaps and make them a better entrepreneur and allow them to be just focus on what they love and what they're going to be most enthusiastic about. I thought General Stanley McCrypto handled it the best. You know, he was like, you expect me to be a general, you know, and tell people what to do. It's the last thing I want to do, right? Like I'm showing up in these rooms and I am purposely not having the answer so that my people feel empowered to own the answer. Because if I'm not on the, in the field with them, what happens? 